Hi, this is Paul Salt from iPhone Dev TV. In this series, we're learning how to work with buttons and graphics in our iPhone apps. Now, typically when you think of a button on an iPhone app, you think of it as a large rectangle, but the buttons that we're gonna work with are actually gonna be smaller than that. We're gonna stylize our button using something like Sketch or Photoshop. And once we have the image asset that we wanna use, we're actually going to shrink it down to a small square. And this is because on iOS, we like to use resizable buttons. We don't know how long the text is going to be when we create a button title. And in our application, we need to create a stretchable graphic. So this image down here is something that can be stretched out in a horizontal direction and it still looks good. Now this one is designed for a certain size. So here you can see that it is 88 pixels tall and that correlates to 44 points on an iPhone retina screen. So this is the typical size you'll see for a UI button that is just on the screen that's not in a toolbar or anything like that. They're a little bit smaller when you add them to toolbars and that's because the toolbar size is typically 44 points tall. So you have to shrink down the button to around 30 points to make it fit and look nice in a toolbar. Now, what I'm gonna teach you is how to create custom buttons that are gonna be non-standard iOS 7 buttons. So if you're used to the iOS 7 or the iOS 8 look, this is gonna teach you how you can customize it so that you can really style your app to stand out from other apps and you can add as much visual embellishments as you want or you can have a cleaner look. Now this is a great technique if you're working on a game or something that uses custom menus because you'll want your buttons to look more than just text. All right, so what I've done is I've added these images to my desktop and I'm going to show you how to add them. So there's two things that we can do. We can add them directly to the project and I can do that with the red button. So I'll just highlight them and drag them in. This will add it directly to the project and I can copy the items into the destinations group folder. So if I do this, my two images are right here but I don't want to keep them here. I want to leverage the new technology in iOS 7 and Xcode 5 that allows us to manage our art assets. And this is also available on iOS 8. So this is a great way to manage your app icons. You can just drag and drop icons right into here and have them appear on your home screen of your iPhone. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add these two images to our asset catalog because there's a feature in here that allows us to make stretchable buttons. So I'm going to go down here in the bottom and there's a little button here to import from the project. And here we can hit the check boxes for the images that we want. You don't always want all of your images in the asset catalog. It depends on your application. If you're doing a standard iOS app, that's fine. If you're using something like Cocos 2D, don't add them all up front because you might have issues where the images don't load correctly. And that's something that we ran into when we made Bomb Dodge. So I'll just hit import right here and that will add it to the asset catalog. You can hit disable for this. I normally use a version control so I don't use whatever Xcode is going to offer me. And here we can see the art assets here. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the blue images and I'm going to add them to the project and I'm going to keep them in the project because we're actually going to programmatically use the blue buttons in another video and we're gonna add them to a custom button that we do all in code rather than using the storyboard or the interface builder design canvas. So now we've got those images added. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to create some buttons and we'll go over how to make these buttons resizable.